All right, so you're going to learn exactly how to create this infinite marquee effect, which is also known as a scrolling text effect. And I'm going to show you how it's pretty simple as it requires no freaking coding whatsoever. So this is beginner friendly as well. And it's actually going to blow your mind, this simple hack behind being able to create this. So stick around so you can see how that works. I'm also going to show you how to do it via a text version where you can customize this literally within uh, Wix without any media files. Okay. By the way, this is a mock-up site, you guys. So ignore it because the design that I have right now, um, below all this is kind of trash, but I ended up having to place these in here for the sake of this demo. Okay. All right. So let's go back to the editor so we can hop right in so you can go ahead and implement this yourself. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just delete this all together so we can start from scratch. And so what I would recommend is adding a section like I just did there. And I would go ahead and add a blank one. Alrighty. And then we're going to go ahead to add elements and go to the gallery section and find the showcase slideshow. Alrighty. By the way, you guys, if you hear birds chirping, my stomach rumbling, trains in the background, my apologies, but I wanted to get this done. And so you can get it done as soon as possible. All right. So now that we have the uh, Wix Pro gallery here selected, which that is the hack. I know it's crazy. We're going to go ahead and customize this to get it to look exactly what you just saw here. Okay. So to start off, I'm going to go ahead and have it selected and hit the stretch to full width. All right. You don't have to do this now, but I usually like to go ahead and resize it according to what I think like the ballpark would be. And you can always customize this as soon as you get the content in there. Then we're going to go ahead to manage media. So in this case, I'll be using photos, PNG files of logos. So to get rid of all this, we're going to select all and then delete. And then we're going to add our media. But before I uh, show you how to do that really quickly, which is self-explanatory, I want you to see what it looks like on the back end in Canva. I'm not really going to fully go through how to do this in Canva because this is pretty simple and um, self-explanatory. But if you do need extra help, let me know in the comments below. But the main important thing here is to make sure the size is uh, 16 by uh, 9, okay, dimensions. That's what's important here. And also to make sure that you have, you're using up relatively the same amount of space for each logo. So you're going to have to kind of play with it. I would recommend like, obviously it'll be like this when you're in Canva, but zoom out of it. So that way you can kind of gauge before you save the files. All right. Once you save the files, we're going to go ahead and upload them. We're going to select image, and then we're going to go ahead and add that to the gallery. All right. And you'll see it pop up in a second. All right, perfect. There it is. Obviously, you can change the background color as well. So actually, let me just do that really quickly. I'm going to scoot this down some and change the background color to uh, this soft blue here. Or let's do this lighter blue here. Okay, cool. All righty. So we need this to be the scroll, have the actual scrolling effect. And we need this to be repetitive. So we're going to go ahead and select this and then select settings. And make sure to pay attention to everything here because it's all important in order for this to look the way it needs to look. So it's already going to be pre-selected at the slider because that's what it is. We're going to go ahead and customize the layout. Okay. Um, you can go ahead and keep it at manual because we already have it set at the 16 by 9 dimension. And I'll obviously keep that as well. And then we're going to loop the images. This is where it's going to have that repetition there. We're also going to toggle the slide automatically so that way it has the actual scrolling effect. And then we're going to select continuous and you can keep the slideshow speed at 50. That's the exact speed that you saw in the preview, but otherwise play with it relative to the type of vibe that you're going for. All right. When it comes to the pause on the hover, we want to deselect that because we don't want it to stop if someone has their uh, mouse over it. And then with the spacing, this works pretty well, but you can go ahead and play with that as well relative to the images that you have. By the way, I would also recommend to get creative since you guys can utilize any images that you want. This would be a great way to showcase your work in a very you know creative way. Um, you can also do videos, which I'm not going to touch on in this particular tutorial, but get scrappy, get creative is the main point there. All right. So now we're going to move over to settings. And for the gallery settings, we actually do not want anything to open up if anything's clicked. So we're going to select nothing happens instead. This is already deselected. And so is this, which is great. But we're also going to continue and deselect the heart icon for the social settings. Moving on to the design and the overlay and icons. 
we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure that's transparent. All right. And I think that's it for that one. Yeah. And just keep this as no effect for the overlay effect. And then going back to text, this is already deselected. So that works out perfect for buttons. Same thing as well for navigation arrows. However, we want to deselect that for the item style. We're going to keep it at no effect. Again, this is relative to how you want it, but if you want it to look exactly how I had previewed, keep it on no effect here and you don't have to do anything here. Yeah, you don't have to do anything there. And then for the scroll animations, we're going to keep it at the scroll. We're going to click on um, the uh, other options here. Keep it linear. And I actually have mine down selected to 0.1. I don't really think it makes a difference, but play with it and see how, you, how it is for you. And that's that. Okay, perfect. And then for the advanced settings, um, this is really for when it's video, but I think this also applies if you have it moving. Um, either way, we're going to keep everything here the way it is. And then if you want to change the, um, the direction, you can do that. So we're going to just keep it for left to right for this particular one. And then we're going to keep the image quality at 90 so that it doesn't uh, load up slowly when it's time for it to load up on the site. We don't need to toggle this because the images are already sharp as they are. And then these are pre-selected, so we're going to keep those. Okay. Alrighty. So that's what this looks like. And in this case, I'm kind of creating like a as seen in type of thing. So we're going to go ahead and add the text as well. I'm going to go ahead and add that. And we're going to make this smaller, of course, centered, you know, get it how you want and make it a tiny bit smaller. And that'll take up the remaining space kind of in this area. Alrighty. And so let's preview that so you guys can see exactly what it looks like. And there you go. How amazing is that by using the freaking gallery feature? Who would have thought, right? It took me a while to figure this out as well, by the way. But the fact that it requires no code is what makes me so into this. All right. So. Last but not least, we're going to create the um, text version, but I'm going to do it from scratch, of course. And what I like to do, instead of having to go all the way from scratch with the gallery effect, I just would rather duplicate an existing one. So I'm going to duplicate this. And I did command D, by the way, on my keyboard, or you can right click and do the same thing here. <clears throat> Oopsies. Let's get out of that. Get back out of that. All right. So for this one, I don't need this text here. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to remove this extra space here as well. And let me just go ahead and add an extra section just so you guys can um, see what it looks like separate from the first one. Okay. Alrighty. So we're going to go ahead and select manage media. And we're going to select everything here and delete. We're going to go to add media and add text. And I'm going to give you the exact dimensions that I used as well. Uh, it's being quite slow. I'm not sure exactly what's happening. I'm going to pause this until it loads. Alrighty, so we're back and we're going to go ahead and select custom here. I had mine set at negative 94. This again is relative to how you have your setup, the design style you're looking for. We're going to have it completely opaque. And then I kept my box padding at zero and the alignment in the middle. All right. So the cool thing about this, you can literally use any font that you want. You can download a font, you know, same thing, um, but you'll select it here. I'm actually going to select this font here and let's actually switch up the message. I'm going to make this a little smaller. Let's switch up the message to say, oh, I know what I could say. Subscribe y'all to my channel. <laughs> and if you haven't already, go ahead and do that. I'm going to select everything here and make this smaller. So treat it just like a regular text box, basically. And I'm going to go ahead and add an emoji as well. I'm going to use my um, graphic designer emoji that I usually always use. All right, perfect. Now keep in mind, um, essentially, you're going to treat this as if it's like one media file. So I'm going to actually double this up. I'm going to select that and make it a little bit smaller so it fits the whole thing. So that way um, it'll have that repetition that I need. Okay, this looks decent. Let me see what it looks like at 13. Okay, no. All right, so I'm going to keep it at uh, size 12, but there is a little bit too much space here on the sides, which I can't uh, change. 
So instead, I'm going to just kind of work around it and create more spaces so that way you can get as close to the edge as possible. Otherwise, you'll see like the noticeable, like obvious gaps um, and you'll know, you'll see it once you complete your file. So to avoid that, I would just go ahead and add um, some spacing where you can. Otherwise, you can always change the um, uh, the text spacing here as well. Like I said, treat it like a regular text box, like everything, everything is there for you to use. OK, I'm going to change the background color to match and then we're going to go ahead and add to gallery. See what that looks like. All right, perfect. Now, mind you, this is quite large. If you want to keep it that size, you can. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller by selecting it and then we're going to just drag that. To try that again there we go and then we're going to drag that i think that looks pretty decent mind you guys this is for decorative purposes for your site so make sure it's something that will be easy to read for um your audience now i don't know where this space came from oh i know why because the background i'm about to say i'm like where is it what what why is that there um so let me go ahead and change the background here to this pink color there we go and then we're going to change that back. Okay, now, as you can see, this spacing here is a little off. It's not that bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and add an extra space in front of the emoji to um, make it look a little bit more evenly spaced. So you might have to play with it a little bit to make it work. Okay, so that, I'm gonna actually just see if I could make this a little smaller. Um, I think that's pretty good. All right, so let's update that just to make sure. Okay, no, that actually made it worse. So there's too much space in the beginning. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to actually just skip over this, but just get it to the point where, oh, wait, hold on. I think I have to make it go back to what it was. Get it to the point where it looks evenly spaced. It's actually not that di that difficult, but um, I don't want to stay too long on this one area because I think at this point you guys have the gist of how this works. Let me see if I could perhaps change it this way. Let's see if I could spread it out just a tad. All right, I think that'll be close enough for the sake of this demo. All right, so let's go ahead and preview this so you guys can see what it looks like. And there it is. And again, make sure to actually subscribe to my channel if you found this video to be helpful to create the scrolling text effect, AKA the infinite marquee effect within Wix without coding. I freaking love it. Like I said, get creative, be scrappy, utilize different methods um, to showcase your work perhaps or whatever messaging that you want to enhance your website. And if you guys have any specific questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, otherwise, make sure to like this video if you liked it. And if you didn't like it, please also let me know in the comments below what you didn't like or how I could have improved this video. And I'll make sure to consider that and apply that for the next one. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Have an amazing, blessed, beautiful, productive day, and I'll see you in the next one.